Hello and welcome. Try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready to talk to me about it, press play and we'll solve it together. Alright, so they want to know which representations are functions here. So let's just first quickly remind ourselves what a function is defined as, and then we can quickly go through this. So the idea of a function, let me just scoot over here and write this down. The idea of a function is the following, that every input, typically x, the x values, every input, I'll put an x here, it doesn't have to be x, but typically is, um, maps to, or I'll say, is connected, that's a nice way of saying it, with up to, well, I'll say it this way, sorry, only one output, typically the y values, although it doesn't have to be. So I'll draw a map here because it's the only example missing in the problem. Uh, the idea is that you have um, values that are in the domain. That's the x values. Uh, those are the inputs, right? So your domain consists of different inputs. Let's say 1 and 2 and 3. And let's say that the outputs are 4 and 5 and 6. 4, 5, 6. And these outputs are all part of the range. The idea of the function is that every input has one output. So if 1 goes to 4, we add 3, right? If we add 3 to 2, we get 5. If we add 3 to 6, right, um, we, get, we get to add 3 to 3, we get 6. And here, each input has one output. Um, that's what a function is. But let's make a copy of this. So this is okay. This is a function. Yay, function. Function. Oops. <laughs> oh, boy. Long day. Sorry. So this is a function. Um, but let's just mess around with this. Let's break it and make it not a function. Lots of ways to break it. Um, but I find often that when you break things, you learn quite a bit. So let's just break this and make sense of it, what a function is not. Let's say we have, um, I don't know what the rule would be, but let's say for some reason we throw the number 7 in there. And let's say that 3 goes to 6. But for some reason, we don't know the specifics yet, right? It doesn't even matter. 3 also goes to 7. This is not a function. Because why? Because 3, the input, has two different outputs. 3, it, 3 goes to 6, and 3 goes to 7. So when that happens, when you have any input with more than one output, it's not a function. And in our examples here, we don't have maps. We have graphs and tables, but we can still follow the same idea. The table over here, 2, 3, 4, 2, uh, 4, 5, and 2, those are our inputs. Notice that 2 and 2, right, we see two 2's here. So there's an input of 2, and it goes to 6, and it goes to negative 6. So on a map, you would see the number 2 going to both 6 and negative 6 in the range here. So this is not a function. So we're looking for function 1 is out. 2, look at the inputs, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There's no repeats here in the inputs. So each of these inputs go to their own outputs. It's OK that 1 goes to 1 and 2 goes to 1. Two inputs can go to the same output. On a map, it would look like this. 1 and 2 would both be going to 1, right? They both map to 1. So here, that's OK if two inputs have the same output. As long as we know where each input is going, as long as we know that each input is going to one output, we have a function. So 2, yes, that is a function. Let's go to choice 3. This is not a function. Uh, we can assume that, I don't like the question, but I guess we're assuming x is the input and y is the output. If that's the case, anytime we have two points that are right above each other, this is often referred to as the vertical line test, we, if the vertical line crosses your graph twice or more anywhere on the, in the equation, it's not a function because you can kind of imagine, let's say this is 1, 2, 3. Let's say this height is uh, 3 as well. So 3 goes to 3. That's this point right here. But down here, let's say it would also be 3, negative 3. So in this case, the input of 3 goes to both positive 3 up here and negative 3 down here. So it's not a function. So anytime you, as long as you know that x is the input and y is the output, that's the key there, uh, you can do the vertical line test. And if, you're, if you can draw a vertical line that crosses your graph more than once, you're showing that there are inputs with more than one output. So that's not a function. Choice 4 is a function. And how did I know so quickly? Well, I think about the graph of this thing. It's 2x plus 1. So 1 is the y-intercept here, and 2 is our slope. Just a line going up like this, right? So I can think about this line. I know anywhere along this line, 
At no point will there be two points right on top of each other. So you can draw a vertical line anywhere, and you will not cross the gap twice. So the only two functions here that exist are choices two and four. Thanks.